Uh, yeah, very, very little when I was like uh, uh, in like middle school when it, for theater, but not really, no. I just think it's life in general. I think the last 10 years I've been through a lot. I've traveled, I've, been, I've met lots of very interesting people that were really powerful uh, as far as their energy is concerned. I've done a lot of plays and musicals and like met cool people that way. I've, um, I've done like underground, because a lot of performing opportunities introduced me to new people. I've traveled. Just, you know, experience in life just helps you expand and evolve. Yeah, I don't get it that much. I mean, in the very beginning of Idol, the first couple episodes, I was pretty freaked out because I knew how many people were watching. Uh, and that was a little intimidating, but I'm pretty comfortable singing on stage. It's kind of like, it's what I do, you know? For a while, in my early 20s, I was more comfortable on stage than I was in real life. I don't necessarily have a mantra, no. I mean, but my philosophy, I guess, if I had to come up with one, would be to go for it. It's to take the leap, you know? Like, just... Actually, a lot of my life mantras and, and philosophies exist in the song that I wrote, uh, Aftermath, on my album with my friends. The, a lot of the way I feel about the way things are in that song. Um, I don't see myself that way, but if somebody else does, that's a great compliment. <laughs> I see myself as Adam Lambert, so. <laughs> um, I recorded an album. <laughs> no one's asked about it yet. It was amazing. Um, we did it in three months. I mean, it took no time at all. I mean, it, took, it, it was that's no time at all in the grand scheme of things. It was um, because of all the momentum that had to go into it to just get it done. I think it added kind of a, an energy to it, like this kind of intensity. Um, it was really exciting and a, a learning process. And I got to write on five of the tracks on there, which I was really proud to, to contribute. And then the other ones were from some great producers and other artists in the industry. People like Lady Gaga, people like Ryan Tedder, amazing writer. Um, it was amazing. Justin Hawkins, Muse, Linda Perry, Pink, um, Max Martin. Amazing writers, amazing writers. No, I would never say anything's better or worse. It's just me. It's just different. I'm singing it. <laughs> and not him. <laughs> I think I think funk music would be a cool direction to explore. I think some maybe some more soul-based stuff would be cool. Um, maybe some harder rock. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm open to experimenting di with different sounds. I think I just wanted to be as diverse as possible because that's who I am as an artist, and that's what I did. I think on American Idol, um, week to week, I tried to be as eclectic as possible and change it. And, Give some, keep like an element of surprise and, and make it really uh, a strong variety throughout the show. And I think the album accomplishes that. I wanted to blend old and new styles together. Um, I wanted to um, be able to make music that was fun and danceable and, and empowering and, and campy, but I also wanted to be able, be able to make music that was emotional and vulnerable and honest. And I think I got to do both. I think, I think I am always me, and it's very honest, but when I'm performing on stage or in a video, it's amplified, it's exaggerated. Uh, I don't know. Um, I use a hair products, I don't know. <laughs> I have someone that's really good at home that cuts it for me. I don't know. Um, I, uh, I just downloaded, um, there's, a, there's a record by a group called Mike Snow, amazing. Amazing, the new Goldfrap single, I'm excited for that, I can't wait to hear their album. Um, yeah, that's a good one. Can't wait for Christina Aguilera's new album. I'm a pretty social person. I like to socialize. Like I like to go and have dinner, groups of friends, drinks, um, go see music, um, have like dinner parties and such at my own house. Um, shop. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I don't really look back that much. I like to look ahead. My grandma passed away when I was about 20, one maybe, 20 or 21, and I, she was so supportive, and she'd be so happy to see where I am today. So it'd be really great to be able to spend time with her. No, no, I have no regrets. Because um, I don't keep secrets, and I don't bullshit very well. I don't tell lies. Um, I'm an open book. It's a lot easier for me that way. Even though it, at times it, it, there's there's challenges that come from being so honest. Like it, honest to a fault is like the label that I would probably give myself. Um, but it's I, I don't have any regrets. No. Oh, Kesha. 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 Um, she'd be fun to go out with. Yeah, she's fun. Um, that actress Evan Rachel Wood is really beautiful and talented. Um, I don't know. <laughs>
I don't really think about it because I am gay. So. <laughs> I don't really know. The word role model is so tricky to me because I'm a singer and I'm just being myself. I'm not trying to set an example. I'm not trying to teach anybody anything. I'm just doing my thing. I think if anything, the only example that I am setting is that there should be being your own person and being different and being comfortable with that should be celebrated. I think normalcy is something that you don't realize until you're not in it anymore. <laughs> like having a quote unquote normal life, you know, where you're, you're not being followed by a photographer and you don't have all these people waiting on your next move. I think um, I took it for granted before, those quiet moments, you know, where I could do whatever I want and no one would notice. Um, but I wouldn't trade it because I'm really enjoying it. <laughs>